What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tweak that just hit Cydia called Animer 7. Now this is actually a really cool tweak. It allows you to change your animations for your notification banners as well as your app switcher. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. And we'll go back one. This is going to be your Animer 7 settings panel. And here you have your notification banner settings. And here is your multitasking switcher settings as well as some extras. And we'll get to all of these. And I'll show you all the animations that you have here. So to start off with, we have banner slide animation. So if we change this up, we can change it to slide from the top. And you're going to see the show test banner button right there. This way you can test out what your banner is going to look like once you actually set this all up. So here's slide from the right. And these are actually pretty awesome. I mean, just having this little tweak that's going to change up the way that your banners come in or the way they animate is really pretty nice. Now, I really like the slide from the bottom right there. You can also change this to fade in. So if we do that, you can see it actually fades in starting at the bottom, but it's a little easier to see if we have it set to none right here. And you can see it just fading in right up there at the top. You also have your zoom in or zoom out. So we'll change that up too. So you can see it zooming in. And here is zoom out. So also pretty cool. Now down here you have dismiss animations. Now these take a little while to actually uh, activate. So I'm just going to show a few of these. But you can basically see what they do. They slide to the bottom, slide to the top, slide to the right, or to the left. So sliding to the bottom is actually my favorite one. So let's go ahead and change this one up too to default. And then, and then we're going to show our test banner here. And you're going to see after a minute once it dismisses itself, it's going to slide down just like that. Now, one thing to mention, if you do this and then you dismiss it yourself, you just slide it up, it's going to slide away just like that. You have to actually let it do it itself in order for it to do the animation. You can also set the fade out right there as well if you want to do that. So it'll slowly fade out as it goes down to the bottom of the screen as you can see right there. Now let's jump back here and go into the multitasking switcher. Here is the fade in. So if we turn that on, then we jump to our multitasking switcher and you see that it's going to fade in all the app cards right there. Now if we go to switcher slide animation, you can change this from top to bottom, sliding from the top. Now these are actually pretty cool. If we open this up, you can see the cards slide in right from the top and as you scroll, you'll notice that they slide in just like that. And that is actually a really cool animation. So let's jump back here. We'll show you from the bottom as well. You can see them sliding in from the bottom like that. Now one thing to keep in mind as you're scrolling through this, you can see if it starts the animation for these sliding up, then you actually can't slide. But if you do it really quick, then you can slide through all of them. But if you notice, like right now, I can't slide while it's doing the animation. So just one thing to keep in mind if you do end up getting this tweak. I mean, it's actually really cool. I definitely don't mind that because I'm really enjoying the sliding up from the bottom and the top right there. Let's go back here and we'll do the switcher zoom animation. So you can actually get a zoom in effect if we open up the app switcher like that. So you can see it kind of zoom in. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me go ahead and turn off the uh, this right here and we'll turn off the fade in and it's really easier to tell. So you can see them zooming in right there. Now you also have your extras, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Not much here. You can hide the newsstand, which actually requires a respring, so I'm not going to show you that, but basically it just hides the newsstand, as well as you can hide your control center separator. So this is basically just these lines right here. So if we slide that down, toggle that on, you can see no more lines for separating those sections. So I highly recommend this. This is a really cool tweak. It allows you to change up the animations, and I'm always a big fan of being able to have a little freedom with the animations. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.